This is um, an intersense tracking. Vestas Technology R&D has launched an initiative to explore the potential of augmented reality technology. At a creative break in Aarhus, Denmark, employees received a hands-on experience with technology of the future. Virtual reality designer Asmus Jensen explains augmented reality technology and how Vestas can benefit from it. Well, augmented reality is, is basically a concept of, of doing um, virtual overlays onto real, real world objects or with real world signals. So uh, typically you'd be thinking a video signal or perhaps even uh, an overlay through uh, virtual glasses or helmets like this. You'd basically be looking at reality but you'd have an overlay from, from data that you bring in and that could be any kind of data. It could basically be text data or visual data or model data like, like CAD models or things like that. Well, we've seen a lot of benefits from virtual reality already and augmented reality is sort of the next step. Uh, to be specific, we've thought of a lot of different scenarios like uh, using it for service work where you have instant feedback from, from different data systems. systems or using it uh, for marketing perhaps in, in customer settings or even for design work uh, when you're sitting at the office and you need to do conceptual sketches. So this is typically what we've called virtual reality. Paul McColl from virtual reality company Vitalis presented some of the augmented reality technologies now available. <laughs> you might break something. <laughs> now for the camera this looks a bit odd but I know you've tried the glasses and this actually looks quite natural. It means the product I can pick up, reach out, grab hold of it, and pick it up and interact with it. Just like the big screen that we've just seen, um, we want to see information in stereo in 3D so that we can get a good perception of how big something is or how it interacts with other parts. Um, but this is a slightly different way of doing it. This is what we call um, augmented reality. If I add to that this device, which is called a fiducial, this has a, like a barcode on it. If I put it in my field of view, I can see and turn around the product. If I put that down, I actually have a sensor in the glasses that's tracking my position as well. So I can actually look around the product. So that's a, a low cost augmented reality solution. Exactly, here you're, you're turning the fiducial. You can actually go inside the cab. But how long will it take to bridge the gap between science fiction technology and real-world applications? Obviously there's a bit to go yet. I mean, uh, there are augmented reality apps that you can get down on your, uh, on your own laptop and use with your own webcam actually. But it's still in a sort of a simplified manner that they use it. Um, the turning point is coming when we're actually seeing industrial grade applications with massive amounts of data coming together in different ways. And we're not quite there yet, but we're very, we're very close and that's why we also have the creative break. We're trying to sort of sketch out a Vestas um, policy or roadmap on this point so that we have a much better way of, of, of actually directing the way that this technology could help us.